Hey, howdy and hi everybody. It's Crackers and I am back here in what's going to be the future office of the House Flipper team. But really what I wanted to do today, because I was toying around with the idea of having an aquarium in here. So I got to playing and then I kind of came up with a, an idea for kind of a, a built-in aquarium and I thought it was kind of cool so I thought I would just do a little video on how I put it together. I'm not sure it's actually going to fit into this build but I still think it's just kind of a neat little side project and an idea for all of you to play around with. So um, what I'm going to be using is the sauna benches and of course some walls and this is the picture that I'm going to be using. This is um, uh, just a, a picture I downloaded. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do is find a, an aquarium picture you'd be happy with, something with high resolution that you could play around with. Now, there's probably way more talented people out there that could take one big picture and crop it into different sections so that you could kind of get the corners to match nicer, and you'll see what I mean later. But for my purposes and my skill set, I'm just going to use this picture. So anyway, um, I think we're just going to build it just right in the middle here because it's kind of just the whole idea of it, just to try and play around. So um, I, you kind of have to work in groups of like two, four, six kind of thing because the sauna pieces, they are either two wide or four wide. And in order for them to all fit together, it's just easier to work. I'm going to work with probably... A wall that's eight now um, so what I'm now this is where you could you could just do an aquarium that's like too wide and work it with it like that uh, it would be a you know a little bit more of a narrower aquarium but I think that would work too but I just kind of liked the look of it uh, being four wide so that's what I'm gonna use so I'm gonna um, basically just build this wall out until it's probably I think I'm gonna uh, I think probably six I think six should be good so just one more out and that should give us uh, the dimensions we need so this is basically just gonna be a box and the reason why I brought out the wall eight is because I just want the bench seating to fit in nicely. So you'll see as it comes together what what I'm after here. So so I'm just gonna fill this in. This is just gonna be the oops the wall that the pictures are gonna be attached to. So this is just going to be a short little video. I just thought it was kind of cool looking. I'm sure there's probably plenty of aquariums out there that look really, really cool because there are so many creative people playing House Flipper. But I just thought this was really kind of cool looking and I wanted to share it in case it helps anybody. So in this case, like this aquarium will probably be best suited in a, a large space, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So basically we have this little jet out here that is six by four. And now I am going to buy, and now I've been fooling around with this and I definitely find that it's easier to put your sauna pieces in first and don't move them after. Cause then it's really hard. Once you put the custom pieces in, it's sometimes the, the little sauna pieces move around. So um, I am going to grab a bunch of these pieces and I'm gonna use the dark color so we'll buy many of these. I think I'm gonna need um, three to pull off what I'm doing. And I think I need four of these. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch. Just so I can just grab them and it's easier. Okay, so I'm trying to think of how I did this before. Now I think I put a piece in the corner. This is something like that. And then I believe I put one of these. Yes. And, mm, yeah, I put this. Something like this. 
Now, if you was was if you was if you was gonna take this down to like be a two by four aquarium, you would just have kind of like a funky little end piece here. Like you'd have to use three of these instead. Like you'd have one of these, um, and it just the that's why I'm using um, a two a four by six I should say, just because I didn't like the look of this finish because then I would be wrapping this bench back at this point and you just had this funky little corner piece in here. I mean, I guess you could put like a full bench and have an open side, but anyway, for my, I just kind of liked the, the look that I'm gonna go for right now. So we're gonna use this one here, just snugged in there tight. I love these sauna pieces. You can do so much with them. I've done like flower or plant stands and I want to work with them more, but for now we are going to do this. There we go. And then we have one more corner piece that's going to finish it off over here. Something like that. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, oops, wrong button. I'm going to use uh, half walls, the little lintels because I want to finish off the top of mine a certain way. So I'm going to put actually this all the way around. There we go. So as you can see, I put the lintels all the way around here. Now you could play around with this. You could get rid of this wall and have it like showing on all four sides, but I just wanted a three sided aquarium. So this is the way I'm going to do it. Now, this is where the gallery comes in handy. I'm going to go into there right now. It takes a bit to load sometimes. So here's my picture and I'm going to uncheck this auto fit, which I just actually learned about. I've been playing this game forever and I didn't realize that you could really play around with the sizes of pictures. So I already know that I think, what was it now? Oh, I'm going to have to figure it out again. So this gets a little funky because it kind of bounces around sometimes. Like um, like when you start playing with both of the, of the meters, uh, like, I don't know. It just gets sometimes a little bit funky. So you have to play around with it until you get the height that you want. Now, I believe the height was something like 1.32 that I found worked for me. So I usually, what I've been doing is, whoa, this is, yeah, that's not the right height at all. <laughs> but let's get it down to something closer to what we can work with. So it's probably about half of that. So let's try 1.75 to start with. Okay, it still has to be a little bit smaller. So we're gonna take the width down to 1.4. Okay, now we've gone too far. So. I just got to bring it back up a bit. It, it's just a bit of a tedious little thing to try and get it to fit perfectly in the space. But once you figure it out, you'll have two the same on either side. And then you just have to work with the width on the end because the height will be the same. So let's just see. All right. So now we're getting close, closer. So I'm going to go up to 1.52 and we're going to add maybe, I don't know how much I'm going to need on the bottom here. Well, that actually looks good. 1.5 is what I'm using and 1.52, right? Yeah, the height is 1.52, width is 1.5. Now there might be room a little bit in either direction. Probably, well, you know what? I think this is pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with this, so I'm going to place it. Hopefully that's good. So now what we can do is just grab another one of these. It's going to still hold on to the size that you were using, so we can put that on this side. And I think that looks pretty good too. There's a little bit of wiggle room, so if you find things aren't lining up, you can still kind of fiddle with it a little bit. So now we just have to work with the end piece. So now we know the height is right. And the width, I believe, if I remember right, was one on this one. So I'm just gonna take it right down to one. And we're gonna pop this on the end. Like that. There we go. 
we've got our little built-in aquarium. Now, this is where I was saying that if somebody was really talented, they could probably take one strip of picture and crop it so that they can actually get the corners to wrap around nicely so it looks like it's... But I thought it looked still pretty cool, so I'm going to keep going with it. So for me, I want to finish the very top, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to find some wall panels because I really wanted to finish it off with wood on the top. So you could do whatever you want now. Um, if you want to do like a tile or just paint the top, you could do that. But I'm going to finish it with some wood panels. So let me do that really quick and I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, guys, I'm just putting the last couple pieces on. Um, I'm not going to finish the last of the pile because I can sell it and make money. <laughs> um, otherwise, it's just gone. So this is like just the pick, you know, that's the, the wood that I picked to try and match it closely to the sauna. But you can, like I said, do whatever you want. You could paint it. You could use tile. You could use a different color wood. But that's what I use to make it, give it that little built-in look. And then at this point, you could just paint it, whatever you could, you know, add what other, whatever room color you're using or an accent color or something. So, um, I don't know, we could grab some orange. Actually, no, let's grab something that's uh, gonna contrast a little bit with the wood. So we'll use this young bud. So yeah, you could paint the wall, and I think it looks really, really cool. Like I said, somebody with a little bit more um, Photoshop knowledge could probably make it, like, fine-tune it even better. But I think it's a really cool look if you want to try and incorporate a built-in aquarium to your build. And like I said, you can. You can narrow it this down, like take two walls out, and make this piece narrow and have more of a narrower aquarium look but I just thought it kind of like because of the, the the height span I thought it just looked a little bit more natural um, being a little bit wider so anyway guys I hope it helps and I hope it kind of gave you some ideas to work with as far as um, you know just something new to add to your build that is my custom built-in aquarium idea um, you know, I was just thinking, too, that it might be kind of cool to bring this out. Like, I mean, you could bring it out another two, but if you bring it out another four, then this would wrap around really nicely. And I almost want to try it. So give me a sec, guys. Yeah, no, it's actually just coming out another two more that is going to give us the effect that I'm thinking of here so that the sauna benches wrap around nicely. So let me just take this last two down. Okay, so we've just coming out two. Now my pictures have fallen down off the wall, but that's okay. All right, so now we can put in another bench there. And the same thing on this side. Um, actually, we just gotta take out this corner piece and put this in there hopefully we can with that picture falling down uh, it's not bad okay and then we can just finish off the corner now with these ones and we'll need one more bench seat to finish this off so buy one more of those that will finish off this edge so now we can actually sell these two And I am going to just quickly put the lintels up all the way around because I still want it to have that built-in look. All right, guys, I went ahead and built the lintels and then I just went ahead and finishes, finished this off. So I'm going to sell those. So now we can go ahead and buy our pictures again. So this should still be set for the end piece that we're going to need. That should be, yeah, that's going to be the right size. So I'm just going to put actually that over here for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one. So let's try, okay, that's getting a little bit closer. Why are these coming in upside down? So I'm thinking, let's try it too. I feel like it's gonna be an even number. Yeah, it is too. All right, so we know we need this one on the other side now. 
And then we can grab our end piece to finish off this side. Thank you for writing yourself picture. I see that you flipped yourself. There we go. So now we have a four-sided aquarium. Guys, I think that looks really, really cool. I hope this gets your creative juices flowing, gets you some ideas to work with. I think it would be really cool in some houses. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching what you did today, please leave a like below and Please sub if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of new videos guys. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys all next time. Not sure I'm going to put this aquarium in this build but I thought it was a really cool idea so I might do something on a smaller scale. But we'll be continuing this build in a couple episodes because I want to get my Halloween house done. So anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Bye!